Hello, everybody. I know it's like three seconds early. Don't pick on me. I'm just saying. I, it's just because I want to get to see you. I'm just, it's just what it is. It's the Celtic Green Radio Show, people. It's it's the most beautiful time of the of the week. It's Tuesday. It's it, see, it's nine o'clock. I'm saying. My phone tells me it's nine o'clock. I just wanted to say. It's the Celtic Rain Radio Show. Welcome to the Celtic Rain Radio Show. Here is your uh, service announcement. When you're ordering a table off of Amazon, make sure to check the dimensions. I thought this was freaking hilarious. So I thought this was a coffee table. <laughs> Stooly thing. <laughs> it's pretty, right? I know. I'm still going to keep it because I like it. <laughs> But I feel a little stupid. <laughs> and you can kind of fit like a glass on <laughs> Needless to say, service announcement. Check the dimensions. <laughs> because it's just what it is. <laughs> and so uh, there you go. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. This is the Celtic Rain Radio Show. We play small label and independent artists' music here. So, you want your music played on the Celtic Rain Radio Show? You can send it to CelticRain777 at gmail.com. There's just a few requirements. Number one, you have to be a small label or independent artist. Ta-da! Next, family-friendly, meaning don't curse. And if you do curse... Make a radio-ready version, because that's just good business. And number two, about family-friendly, just be nice to people. I mean, dude, I mean, you can even, like, have a song about your breakup and your boyfriend that you don't love anymore, but still, you're not putting down a people group. So, you know, you see what I'm saying? Be nice. So, understand. Send it to CelticRain777 at gmail.com. I play all genres of music, all types of music. If you are not listening from YouTube, you can go to youtube.com forward slash C forward slash CelticRain and you can like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You could do this, but on the button that's on there that is literally probably as big as this little tiny table, but that's okay. Um, so, service announcement. <laughs> Check the dimensions. <laughs> Just putting that out there. We have some amazing music tonight, and I am so stupid excited. I Okay, I am going to admit something. Last week, I uh, got a little excited. <laughs> I was like, the Soaky Girls are coming on. Just kidding. They're next week. So this is the next week. Yay! So, uh, so it's not just videos tonight. <laughs> so needless to say, it's... They're actually here in my little computer world house. So, yay. You get to see them in just a little while. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, yep. I am. Uh, Natalie says, I'm excited to see the Selkie girls tonight. Uh, I've become a big fan of theirs thanks to the show. See, we start playing their music on the show. And you guys are like, who are these people? Uh, that's what this whole show is for. The whole show is so that we can be able to get to know new music of all kinds, all kinds. I know it's kind of one of those things, right? So what are the people that you probably didn't know before until this show? Five-year mission. So we're going to listen to um, I, Mud, by Five Year Mission. They're the group that uh, that plays songs about, uh, we got some same here's and some me too's. Look at that. Jeez Louise. Indiana's blowing it up. <laughs> yeah, some, some are from Indiana. Some are not. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, needless to say, so we do have I Mud by Five Year Mission. They're the ones who play uh, songs that are all about Star Trek. <laughs> yes, baby. That's exactly right. And then we have Mary and the Soldier by Celtic Rain. That's right. So yay, you get to hear me sing. Is You know what I mean. Um, and then we have God Save Ireland by Slugger's Rule. So we go from really pretty Scottish music to like, you know, drinking songs. So yay, that's a great thing. And then we get to hear from our band. It is one of those things. I'm just saying. So there you go. So you guys ready for some crazy amazing stuff i know it is it, it's one of the, the tonight's show 
I have a feeling it's going to be one of those that's just absolutely beautiful. And I'm telling you, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait until we get to see it all. You guys ready? Here we go. They fly and the pipes they play 
was cause your merry folks to sing. Said, I pray don't be unruly For when you're in a foreign land Believe you'll rue it surely Perhaps in battle I might fall From a shot from an angry cannonball With you so far from your daddy's home Be advised by a gallant soldier When he saw her loyalty and Mary so true-hearted He said, my darling, Mary will be And nothing but death will part us And when we're in our foreign land I'll guard you down with my right hand And hopes that God might stand a friend With Mary and the Highland soldier Celtic beginning, but you know, that's great because 
this it's sluggers rule we had celtic rain and now you're gonna get selkie girls i mean it's like it's like i I, yes i realize that this is this is uh this is the Celtic Rain radio show, but we do play all sorts of music. And it's really kind of funny that most of the music at the beginning of this thing was Celtic. I uh, totally did that on purpose. A- absolutely. Absolutely. And guess, guess what? Now now you get to actually meet two of the Selkie girls because I know there's more than two. So we're going to we're going to get the down low on the other. Like We get to talk about them behind their backs. <laughs> be really really hilarious but hey you guys say hi to the selkie girls huh hi hello how you doing howdy (laughs) so so tell me who is here so i know because i got paper and pencils but (laughs) at the same time tell everybody else who you are well i'm Allie, uh one of the selkie girls obviously (laughs) and i'm jc one of the other ones (laughs) so there's four others okay so there's four <clears throat> others. So there's six all together, right? Correct. So yes. three of whom yeah. are male. Uh, three, yeah, three, three guys. of three, three guys. <laughs> poor, poor guys. They're like, yes, we're sunky girls. <laughs> they're very comfortable with. They're they're with proud their to go along with it. They're like, yay. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, tell me what you guys do in the band. Uh, so I uh, primarily sing lead and some harmonies and play rhythm guitar for the band. Nice. And I back her up on vocals, sing lead sometimes, and I do all of the flutes and whistles and tell the jokes, which are very bad. They're all bad. It's okay. That's I, I've decided that that's the best kind of joke, because if you know how to tell dad jokes well, then everybody cringes inside in just the right way. I'm just yep, saying. Right. It, is, it is an art. It is an art. So and it makes the music sound better because when the jokes stop and we start singing, they're all very relieved that that's okay. (laughs) Yeah. Right. You know, well, there is that. (laughs) But yes. So tell me what the other band members. So what tell me tell me the names and what what do they do? Okay. So the other uh, official sulky girl is Linda Mudd. She's our harp player, fantastic harpist. And then we have Dave Urban, who is principally the, the lead guitar player, backup singer, and he manages the band. He corrals all of us. Uh, Joel, I've heard Black, of cats. Uh, we, yeah, we're just a, a gaggle of cats. Uh, then Joel Black is the bass player and Martin McCall is our drummer. Nice, nice. Yeah, no, I, uh, the herding cats thing. So I'm a minister and uh, one of, in my internship when I was doing my internship like years ago, the, with the lady that was doing my internship with me goes, just so you know, churches are like herding cats. So it's just yes, like that. they are. <laughs> <laughs> I work because... for one too, so I can vouch for that. <laughs> it's like herding cats. And you're like, Got it. Now I understand the mindset that I have to have for the rest of my life. Thank you. you <laughs> yeah. So I, I understand the herding cats thing. Absolutely. And you're right. Bands are just that way too. Cause I'm the manager of our band too. And I'm just like, guys, come on. Bless let's you. Go there. Yeah. I let's know that's, let's, that's a big job. Geez. It is a big job. Needless to say it, it is what it is. Um, so, so most of you are actually in Texas, right? And then you're not. So Allie is not in Texas. No, right? I, I was when the band started years ago in 2013. Yeah. I think it was 2013. It My was, daughter was yeah. two. And wow. uh, yeah, so um, I, I suppose a little bit over a year ago, uh, my husband and I relocated to Milwaukee. So I'm up here most of the time. And then I just generally fly down for shows. We play in the South most of the time. Um, yeah, yeah. And hopefully get up to Milwaukee Irish Fest one of these times. I'm working on that. Right. But yeah, so so we still get together. We still do shows, um, but I just fly down for those. It's kind of a nice breakaway. Yeah. 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 That's and and, and I, I was talking, I was actually talking to uh, JC about this, uh, how you guys practice that. Oh, yes. Tell us about how you actually practice because you're not in Texas. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, these days, yeah, it's sort of a fun, uh, fun experience. So they're all together in a room and then I zoom in and I just deal with the delay. I just ignore the delay, which I'm a music teacher as well. And so when COVID hit, all music lessons went to online 
And if you're teaching guitar or something like that, as the teacher, you get used to managing the delay, right? You So um, that's what I do. I just, I sing along with them, but I'm muted. They can't hear me, but I can hear them. And that way I'm not screwing them up, but I can still practice all my notes along with them. Yeah. So we've that gotten creative. Helps be, it helps that us gonna be because so hard. we have to know our stuff and know where we are yeah without being able to hear her so it actually helps us a lot too not to rely yeah, cause... on her for all of the cues and things like that you guys so have like a, it's been a fun experiment yeah you that's have ridiculously close harmony and so to not be able to hear somebody when you're harmonizing with them it's got to be like one of those things that you're just like well what? yeah so what i what? would say <laughs> I would say that, you know, for years we practiced faithfully for hours a week together. And that um, really laid the foundation for me to be able to leave, but be able to come back and pick right back up. I think if we right. hadn't done all that, this would be a lot tougher. There was, to do, yeah, there know. would be no way. Yeah, exactly. Plus they're just That's excellent musicians. So, you know, it's, it's easy. It's easy to sound good with a great band. You know, I agree. There is, it, it's, it's a beautiful thing when you can work with musicians that are like, you know, worth their salt, you know? So yeah. it's like, Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I've been, I've worked with both. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think we all have. <laughs> uh -huh. We're like, and when you get the good ones, you're like, yeah, you're never leaving. I hate to break it to you, but you're mine for it. For sure. Yeah. JC stuck with me for life. I'm not letting her go. Yeah. I don't care I what to happens. Break it to <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Don't go. Don't go. I can't <laughs> handle that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you said it, the, the band started back in, what was it? Two, 13? 2013. 2013. 2013. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. The summer That's before awesome. my husband and I got married, Allie had toddlers. Yeah. Now I have middle schoolers. We've, we've done a I lot of life it. together. That's true. We have. It's okay. Mine literally just started high school and I'm like, what? <laughs> No, you're not allowed to do this. <laughs> In the blink of an eye. It's the, the, know, their, li their childhood goes by so fast. Cool. It's because we keep feeding them. We need to, you know. <laughs> right. Just put I'm the just brick saying. on top of yeah. their head stop. and stop the food <laughs> intake. And that solves the problem. <laughs> so uh, so where did uh, where did you guys, so each of you, um, where where did your musical journey start for you guys? So I this Ooh, is see, a personal you, you go first. Okay. Yeah, go. I'm just, I'm deferring to you here. Okay. Well, I'm deferring uh, to you so, now because it's your life. <laughs> all right. Um, so I grew up in a musical family. All of my, every person on my dad's side played an instrument or sang or both. Um, so it was, I don't remember a time where I couldn't read music or I wasn't playing something. Nice. Um, and I've kind of done everything. I'm classically trained flute player, went to college for music education. Um, and then just kind of picked other instruments up here and there. And now I'm a worship leader. And so I play guitar, or, uh, play piano and sing most weeks. So <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if your house is like mine, but uh, we have every, in I swear that our house is where instruments come to like live when they've retired. <laughs> so like we have all these old ridiculous instruments that are amazing and that even like like crazy old like thousands of years old kind of things and you're like Ooh, you're, you're like what are you and please let's get an a, you know um uh insurance just for you kind of thing you know and mm -hmm. but because people are like hey so you play the lute to my husband and like you need to have this and you're just like okay and like this one this one church we that we work with they're like so we have a small organ do you want it <laughs> like, so i don't know if your house is like mine but I it's, have so it's not many stinking instruments. Yet. My <laughs> husband is not a musician, which is probably good because I think we would kill each other if that was the case. Um, Our but he appreciates that mine is. music, <laughs> but yes, it's, it has curbed my ability and desire to, uh, you know, hoard instruments. So, but yes. you know, we haven't been married for that long. We still have a lot of life. Good time, JC. We'll, we'll see, we'll we'll see wear how it goes. Yeah. Time. And when the kids when the kids move out, you're like, oh, there's another room. <laughs> <laughs> right. I can put instruments in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I know, turn their great. room into the music room. 
Exactly. So Allie, tell me about yours. Tell me. Tell well, me I mean, it's kind of, it's a similar story to JC, at least as far as how we started out, because I was the youngest of four kids and my mom is a musician and songwriter. And um, before I was ever born, she was playing bass in a band and being super cool. And so by the time I came along, my siblings had already figured out three-part harmony um, to back her up. And then I was like the little one trailing behind picking somebody else's part because there's only so many harmony parts in a song. Um, so it was kind of that, it was like a natural thing for me to be uh, musically inclined. And then, um, you know, in middle school, I really, I really kind of like got the bug and got like a huge passion for music. And I just never, it just never quit. You know, it started out with like yeah. choral music. I was, uh, I loved choral music. I'd be the kid that was like at the piano after everybody else left playing all four parts of some, you know, choral arrangement of Mozart and, uh, you know, just totally obsessed. And then, um, my, uh, my my mom's side of the family is uh, very Irish and very Scottish, and I just always connected with that music. And um, the band sort of started. Well, we all have our own stories with that, but the um, I had I had had my second child, and um, she was weaned, and I thought, well, I'm gonna. It's time to do something just for me, um, you know, away from uh, the babies and. We had gone to Scarborough Fair in Waxahachie, Texas, and which I got to. How you say it? <laughs> what is it? Waxahachie? Yes. Waxahachie? What is it? And, uh, Donald would agree. My husband would agree with her in Waxahachie. The but everybody who's from there says Waxahachie. Oh, gosh. All right. Waxahachie. <laughs> Um, pardon me. You can um, get into a, you can, you can have Donald back you up later, but he's I know here, I'm so going to start I'm a whole internet thing with this, but anyway, and I was like, you know what, um, how fun would it be to be in like a Celtic band? So I'm on the way back from Waxahachie to our house in Anna, Texas. And I get on Craigslist back when Craigslist was still like a big thing. And I just searched like in the music page, Celtic. And there was one ad, it was the first ad, and it was very vague. Someone had just said, like, Celtic musicians wanted. And I was like, yes, hi, I sing, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that ended up being Dave Irvin, who was the, who formed the Selkie Girls, basically. Nice. So he and I met, and we, uh, we you know, looked at a couple of songs. One of them was The Boxer by Simon and Garfunkel, great song. Another one was, yeah. I don't know. It might've been um, wild mountain time or something like that. Anyway, we played together and it was like, Ooh, this sounds, this sounds pretty good. And then he's like, okay, well, I have some, I have somebody else in mind. I'd like you to meet her name is JC. So I went over to the church where they rehearsed, met JC. And when we sang together, it was one of those crazy moments where you're just like, Oh, okay. This is special. And yeah. I, honestly, that was, that was it. It was like, well, this is cool. We, we, I mean, obviously we have a blend you don't hear every day. And so that was kind of where it started. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are going to actually hear one of those songs. We're going to hear a long time traveling. So tell, tell me about this song. So we are, we, we don't do a whole lot of originals yet that, I mean, we have a couple, <laughs> most everything we very lovingly borrow with permission from other wonderful artists. And one of them that we love very, very much is the Waylon Jennings and they're kind of up in y'all's neck of the woods. Um, and so this particular arrangement was one of theirs that uh, we just, we loved the song. We felt like it fit kind of our vibe and um, it really showcased a lot of the harmonies that, you know, we feel really, really proud of and we feel like is one of our strengths. So that's kind of why we chose this one. And nice. The rest is history. So what's the story behind this song? What, what, what is this, this song? This is, yeah, it's, it's a, post civil war. So it's, you know, there's okay. that whole period of songs that are, um, uniquely American, but definitely have a lot of Celtic roots. So a lot of times when we sing this song, Right after we sing it, we sing Patty's Lamentation, which is about the Irish immigrants that came over um, oh, during nice. the Civil War era and were conscripted into the Union Army. So, um, you know, this this is uh, 
kind of in that family of songs of the sadness of the Civil War, not just, you know, the chaos and violence, but for immigrants yeah. who were um, had no, no other choice. They were starving. And so they came to America uh, to fight to fight America's war. And mm -hmm. um, so this song is kind of, you know, it's it's part of that family of um, Civil War era American folk. Yeah, that's really, really interesting. Yeah. Well, we're going to have you you guys come on and sing the song and uh, <laughs> have a great time um, and uh, and then do a little cheer dancing with us because that is that is the Celtic Rain way. I'm just saying I'll Celtic Rain best. radio show doing some cheer I'm not dancing. not sure how we're going to cheer dance to this <laughs> song. No, no. We'll this one you way. just get to have fun. Yeah, there you go. Be okay. yourself. Show your personalities. It's going to be beautiful. But I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for just a moment, and then I'll bring you back on. All right? Okay. You guys, they are... They're so cute, right? I love my little... I love my artists that come on. They're like, they like mine now. Remember, you can ask them questions. On the comments, comment and ask questions, and I will ask them for you as well so that you guys can get to know the Selkie Girls even more. It's really beautiful. We are going to listen to Long Time Traveling by the Selkie Girls from their album Long Time Traveling, and then we're going to listen to New Man by Scott Ziegler. And then our last song of this song set is called Shadow of the Dog by Cynix 4. Cynix 4 is one of those bands that's just kind of that, you know, that goth industrial. And I'm, I always feel like I'm like, yeah, let's go goth dancing. Needless to say, yeah, my little goth comes out. So, yay. Um, but needless to say, you guys ready to hear some amazing music? I know. It's one of those times. I'm so excited. Here we go, guys. These fleeting charms of earth, farewell, your springs of joy are dry. My soul now seeks another home, a brighter world on high. I'm a long time traveling here below. I'm a long time traveling away from home. I'm a long time traveling here below to lay body down. Farewell, kind friends whose tender care has long engaged my love. Your fond embrace I now exchange for better friends above. I'm a long time traveling here I'm a long time traveling away from home. I'm a long time traveling here below to lay this body down. I'm a long time traveling here below. I'm a long time traveling away from home. I'm a long time traveling here below to lay this body down, to lay this body down. Yeah! Crouching at your door Cause the warning sign you chose to ignore The cause is great, it cuts like a knife Is the price really worth your life? Don't you run, don't you hide in a double life Caught between wrong and right, try to survive Comes alive Comes alive 
So I want to say sorry because I that one slipped by me. But um, every once in a while, one gets in and you're like, no. <laughs> so, but reminder, this is a good reminder, right? A reminder, uh, please don't send me songs that have curse words in them. I will have to mute it out. And that's a lot of work. Uh, so needless to say, um, that usually Cynic 4 doesn't have those kind of words. So I didn't check. I was a bad girl and didn't check. So needless to say, um, I will be checking for <laughs> their songs from now on. Good to know. Needless to say. So that brings us to CelticRain777 at gmail.com. If you are a small label or independent artist and your stuff is family friendly, meaning it doesn't have curse words or and and doesn't make fun of people, you know, groups. I don't, just be nice, people. Just be nice. I mean, it's just the way of the world, right? We should just be nice. Uh, send it to CelticRain777 at gmail.com. We have some absolutely amazing. Okay, so I am going to talk just a little bit about the next song because I realize I've been playing a lot of Ginger Ackley's songs. and I love Ginger. She's so cute. Just, we had her on. She's like this little character. And she plays, and she plays Celtic music, but... Most of it is like for children and it makes me so happy inside. And so, so I'm always going to play her stuff because you have to have a little bit of kid in you. So Ginger Ackley's Come, Come By The Hills is coming up next. Yay, we got our kids song. Okay. <laughs> so everybody has to bring out their inner child and have fun with us. And then we're going to listen to Dreams by the Mathematicians and with Rusty Humphrey. Rusty is one of my very favorite friends in the whole world. He's an amazing bass player. And this is one of his from the Mathematicians when he was younger. And then we're going to listen to, and I'm not going to say this right, so don't hurt me because it's freaking Russian. Um, Paulus, oh, good Lord. Posh Lushai Verter, 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 Verter. <laughs> okay, you're going to see this. I'm going to put this on the screen. If you can see this, then you'll understand why this is hard because it's in Russian. All right. This is our beautiful friend who lives in Russia, who um, is a gorgeous person, Monoplan. We love you. We pray for you every day. Um, and because uh, you're standing up against the machine over there and uh, very secretly uh, helping wage a social war. So we love you so very much. Needless to say, go monoplan. So uh, whatever that those two words are, <laughs> that's the name of the song. <laughs> it says, it's like Posh Lucia, Lucia Verter. I am never going to be able to speak Russian. I'm, I'm just saying. Needless to say. My husband could do this. <laughs> But I can't. So we're going to have this beautiful music. You guys ready for some more? This is the Celtic Green Radio Show, man. This is what we do. We play absolutely beautiful music. Let's do it. Get our child on. <laughs> By the hills to the land where fancy is free, and stand where the peaks meet the sky and the locks meet the sea. Where the rivers run clear and the bracken is gold in the sun. And the cares of the morrow must wait till this day is done. Come by the hills to the land where life is a song. Stand where the birds fill the air with their joy all day long. Where the trees sway in time and even the wind sings in tune. And the cares of the morrow must wait 
till this day is done. Oh, come by the hills to the land where legend remains, where stories of old fill the heart and may yet come again, where the past has been lost and the future is still to be won. And the cares of the morrow must wait till this day is done. And the cares of the morrow must wait till this day is done. And the cares of the morrow must wait till this day is done. So come by the hills and discover your own family tree and the history it represents. To start with, write down when you were born, then ask your family about when and where they were born, and start recording your family's history. Ask older family members to tell you stories from when they were young and all about their families. Be sure to write down what they say, or even better, make a recording of it. If you can't talk to them in person, write them a letter or send them an email. There are genealogy apps and software programs that can help you keep track of what you discover. There might even be someone, an aunt or a cousin, who is already working on your family story. If you run into a wall, don't let it stop you. Even if someone was adopted, there are still ways to uncover the story. The library can help you look further back using things like the federal census and other historical documents, including old newspapers and journals. They can also help you find books about different periods in history, often written from a young person's point of view. Put a relative in each paragraph of that old history book and know that a part of you was there too. History is alive and it is yours. As genealogists say, happy hunting.
Monoplan is, uh, he is an amazing, amazing artist. He actually uh, does all of his own stuff, which is crazy. Um, and so all of that is him and a computer. And so Monoplan, dude, I had him on, uh, I'm going to have him on again, but I had him on uh, last year and uh, just an amazing guy. Amazing guy. Uh, I was, I was actually telling uh, the girls from, uh, from, um, uh, Selkie girls a little bit about this while we were talking while the mu music was going on the last time I had him on because he's in Russia <laughs> last time I had him on uh the show didn't it, we started but five minutes later the show they let the show start five minutes later so I I don't know if it was like our government or or their government but needless to say uh they were just making sure I guess it wasn't a political show that he was on talking about things and so so we're like music 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 because we wanted to make sure that like he didn't get in trouble because he could they he could he could lose his life uh so if we weren't really careful so we were very careful he's an amazing musician though and i'm so excited that i'm gonna have him on later but right now Ha <laughs> ha, we have the Silky Girls back. So stinking excited. Hey ladies, how you doing? How you good? Doing? <laughs> <laughs> so we have had some amazing co uh, comments and questions. So we're going to go through some of these. Um, uh, Natalie says, gorgeous harmonies. Love it. Uh, Ken Fitz is like beautiful. <laughs> and, um, uh, Justin's like such beautiful voices. And then we get into the questions. So they actually have questions for you guys. Yeah. Great. Um, so uh, David says, I love your take on with a, uh, 
of without you um who comes up with yeah which which we're going to be hearing um who comes up with the vocals and and the musical arrangement for that so who comes Uh, up with the yeah, no, that's a that's a great question. So, um, actually, for with or without you, interestingly, um, well before the Selkie Girls were ever uh, thought of in like the mid '90s, I absolutely fell in love with you two. Just head over heels. Vano was my guy, tried and true. Had every poster. I had this little job at the donut shop in my little small town, and every paycheck went to their CDs, their posters, um, any little thing I could get my hands on from YouTube. Now, fast forward, I did not actually suggest we do this song. Our bass player, Joel, said, why don't we try With or Without You? And and I said, twist my arm, please. Yes, of course. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm so, only the biggest fan girl ever. <laughs> no, no, I mean, entirely. So that's probably why I didn't suggest it. I didn't want to be too eager. But um, yeah, yeah. And, and that song in particular was the one that like launched my obsession with them. So, uh, so he suggested we do the song um, and it's kind of a good um, barometer for how we, how we create stuff in the Selkie Girls. So we do our own arrangements. We don't write a, a lot of entirely original material, but we never want to do a song like anyone else does it. Right. So you we know, don't just copy and paste. No, never. No, we don't want to do that. Like you, I mean, you know, the folk tradition is that you take something that someone else has done and then you put your own spin on it. That's how the music stays alive. You keep recreating things and adding, adding some new stuff to it. That's what makes it feel alive again, because they already did it like that. You don't need to do it like that. So (laughs) even with a somewhat modern song in terms of folk music, you know, this was written all the way back in 1986. And that's like a baby song for folk music, right? It's not, it's, it's, a, it's just a baby. And um, so basically what, what we did, um, you know, I said, please, can I sing this? And everyone said, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then we take our strengths, you know, so JC has a fantastic uh, soprano voice. And so of course she's going to do those bell like harmonies above me. Uh, Dave has a gorgeous tenor voice. He's going to be below. And then the harp comes in, the bass. Uh, We have a really tasteful drummer that never really wants to play one note more than he needs to. And so uh, we kind of created in the moment with maybe a vision of uh, basically how we want it to end up. But then there's a lot of room for people to be creative and add their own stuff to it. And if it's great and we love it, then, then it sticks. And if it doesn't, right, then, right. you know, we just keep working until it makes some sense. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there. this kind of goes along the same lines. This is uh, David. David says, I'm surprised to learn that you don't do your own arrangements. Uh, is that something you feel that, uh, and I'm not done yet, that you feel the urge to do uh, in the future? Do you ever tweak an arrangement to suit your personal taste? Well, then we had Chad who jumped in. So... <laughs> <laughs> he said they actually do their own arrangements most of the time. Long time traveling was an exception in in this case. So obviously, you know, just that one case. And there are times, obviously, yes. you're like, "Hey, I'm not going to improve on this. This is exactly what I want." And, um, even, and then other times, yeah. And yeah. even in in the case of long time traveling, so the Wayland Johnnies did a version of that, and we did really love what they did. So we basically took what they did but we did add some things to that of our own they don't have a male yeah. singer so we added a lower harmony part to that there you go and yeah so even in that case i think we we did our own thing with that one as well but Absolutely. yes we do yeah, our own like arrangements it. as much as possible yeah yeah and i know uh, right that was the- misleading <laughs> <laughs> it's okay and and uh and, and david came back and said, for sticking up oh, for us david said good to know good to know so yeah. uh so yeah no 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 that you know there you go um but yeah no it was it was kind of like okay well you asked the question so we're gonna make sure yeah. we put it in there um but uh, i know with us we do the voice uh from celtic woman and and instead of uh because instead of a, a violin we use bagpipes 
And so, mm-hmm. you know, you, you can do these things because every group has different arrangements of things that, okay, well, I don't have this, but we do have this instrument. So let's change this thing up and really make it amazing <clears throat> for us. And so, yeah, I understand that completely. My biggest thing a lot of times is I'm like, okay, let's learn the song and then let's make it ours, yes. you know? So mm-hmm. that way, it, it that way you give it its credit, you know, but at the same mm-hmm. time, you're like, okay, now it's part of my heart, you know, so mm-hmm. I understand that completely. Uh, we did have, um, uh, let's see, we did have one more. Um, where does the group perform mostly? And like, which state or so, where? Well, so at this point, the Selkie Girls, um, we generally perform in Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, those are the main states that we play in, and um, occasionally Tennessee. Uh, and, um, you know, come so in September, we'll be in Tulsa, Oklahoma for Scott Fest. And, um, and then in October, we're actually doing a showcase. And so hopefully, as a result of that, you might be seeing us in a few more states, and maybe, you know, even in Canada a bit after that. Nice. So so yeah, so we're kind of a Southwest band at the moment, but we're working on punching through some of those uh, ceilings to see if we can branch out just a bit. No, I get that completely. We're we're Midwest, and I'm like I'm trying to get us more everywhere. You know, uh-huh. so it's like yeah. go this way, go towards Texas. Whereas <laughs> you guys are like I'm like come towards Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you know who knows? Maybe we'll meet in the middle. So that would be really be nice. Amazing. That would be fun. <laughs> Let's meet like, in hey. Kansas. Let's meet in Kansas. Let's yeah, all meet at meet at Kansas City Kansas. Irish Fest. Our friends Tullamar are playing in Kansas City. Uh, I think there this weekend. Go. Yeah, exactly. At Kansas City yeah. Irish Fest would be great. And then let's that just head up north to Milwaukee Irish Fest. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> You're like, come to my. I won't even have to have a hotel room. No, <laughs> it's so nice when you play in your own hometown. You're just like, I can sleep in my own bed. <laughs> oh. Yeah. the most wonderful feeling ever. <laughs> um, oh, what a, oh, Justin, Justin says, I would be so down, down for that. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Um, Kansas here. So there, <laughs> there you go. There hey, you go. let Kansas City go. Irish Fest know Celtic Grain and the Sulky Girls would That's love right. to grace the We those could stages. totally, we could totally headline together and have the best time ever because we go. have a piper. Justin, and you guys have crazy magic harmonies. There. Let's, I'm telling you talk let's talk we <laughs> let's do this we can do oh yeah we this is already happening i can feel it inside um so we are actually <laughs> so what what do you guys do other than music are you guys do you just get to do music for a living i know i know you kind of um hinted at it earlier but what what do you guys do other than music i mean obviously for jobs how do you pay your bills how about that uh, that's a better question So aside from one stint when I was 19 and I worked at a little local airport taxiing in airplanes. uh, Oh, really? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, And then I got tired of being hit on by, you know, old pilots and it was just creepy. So I'm not going to do that anymore. But with the exception of that, I have always done musical things. I taught private flute lessons for eight years and then I taught early childhood music classes for six years which was so much fun because you just get to pretend to be animals and be silly and yeah you play you all still love music all day yes. and uh now I'm a church music director at our local church that I've been a part of for 15 years so nice nice so and what um, about I- you my dear Yes, I have taught music lessons for the last several years, um, ukulele, guitar, voice, um, and but I've always had, or at least for the most part, I've had a separate job, part-time, something non-musical. Um, music lessons I, is really close to my heart, but it's pretty intense. And so I found that I couldn't really teach 40 hours of lessons. Um, so I have a sort of a nice desk job for half my day. And then the other half of my day, I get to do fun stuff and it works for me. So actually I just accepted a position as the um, choir director for Milwaukee Irish Fest starting this spring. Yeah. So I'm the choir director. Yeah. (laughs) You should be like, 
hire these bands. <laughs> I know. I figure I have an in at this point. I'm uh, just saying. She's slowly yeah. working on infiltrating, you know, so that she has an in. I'm doing my best, you guys. I'm doing everything I possibly <laughs> I can. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Yeah. So I'll be nice. the, the choir director for Irish Fest, which is, which is a pretty prestigious thing. And also it's a fantastic Celtic community here in, in Milwaukee. Nice. Uh, if you've ever been to Irish Fest, it's, um, they say it's the biggest Irish Fest in America. And I would absolutely believe it. I mean, I, they do get like the best of the best. So that's why I say, well, book the Selkie girls right. next year. Right. I mean, come on. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's always a mix for me. I can't do a hundred percent music. My brain gets a little fried from it. Um, but half and half works really well for me. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's beautiful. Well, we are going to actually hear uh, an another song. So that's wonderful. We're going to hear, um, uh, we're going to hear deep. Well, tell us about deeper. Deep well. well, deeper. Yeah. Well. Sorry. Deeper so well. this is actually an Emmy Lou Harris song, um, that we adapted for Selkie girl style. And, uh, you know, we always say our shows are a bit of an emotional roller coaster. We're going to take you up. We're going to take you down. We're going to take you all around um, the full gamut of emotions. Right. So like really fun stuff of tempo, some kind of dark stuff. My favorites are always the sad ones. And Deeper Well is kind of that middle ground where it's like really intense. It's kind of dark. It's a lot of fun. And we just I, every time we've ever sang this song, I've loved it. I've just loved, I never get sick of this one. And we've sung it for what, nine years? Nine years. Yeah. yeah this is one of the first ones that we all put together. Um, wow. And Emmy Lou Harris is a fantastic songwriter. Uh, so there we always go. just have a lot of fun together doing this one. That's really awesome. Well, again, you'll be back to do some chair dancing and some performing. So, uh, so we'll see you in just, just a few seconds. All right, guys. All right. So you guys, a little bit of a, uh, Deeper Well Coming Your Way by the Selkie Girls. Uh, and then we have The Golden Ring. It's a Piper piece that our band uh, Celtic Rain does. So, uh, yeah, beautiful pipes. And then we have um, Lucky One by Phil Reed. It's uh, this is a newer song to to the Celtic Rain radio show. So I'm very excited to get new music always from uh, you beautiful people out there. But it is what it is. You guys ready for some absolutely amazing music? I know. It is what it is. Let's do this thing. Sunburn hot, burned my eyes. Burned so hot, I thought I died. Thought I died and gone to hell. Looking for the water from a deeper well. I went to the river, but the river was dry. I fell to my knees and I looked to the sky. Looked to the sky and the spring rain fell. Saw the water from a deeper well. Well, for the water from a deeper well. Well, for the water from a deeper well. Deeper well. I found some love and I found some money. Found that blood would drip from the honey. Found I had a thirst that I could not quell. Looking for the water from a deeper well. Well, for the water from a deeper well. Deeper well. Well, I did it for kicks and I did it for faith. I did it for lust and I did it for hate. I did it for need and I did it for love. Addiction stayed on tight like a glove. So I ran with the moon and I ran with the night, and the three of us were a terrible sight. Nipple to the bottle, to the gun, to the cell, to the bottom of a hole. 
of a deeper well From a deeper well. Well, pull the water from a deeper well. She looks 
like fire in that black dress and I wish she'd warn me about this color mess she is off somewhere 200 miles Even if her heart ain't free Oh my, I'm the lucky one this time She could only let herself be all mine A song, a place, a home on a time The city, the food, this glass of wine It takes her back to where she That ain't me Oh my I'm the lucky one tonight She's with me Even though her heart ain't free Oh my I'm the lucky one this time She would only let herself be all mine Well, that was the lucky one. I know. I feel like I'm the lucky one. That's just, I'm just saying. We got the Selkie Girls on. It's some, um, it's become, it's just been a really amazing show. I'm very, very excited um, because, frankly, to be completely honest, I think that um, we have some things brewing and that would be just fun. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my little cauldron and be like, hey, 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 we're gonna make this happen. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Needless to say. Um, so yeah, no, so as I said before, you guys uh sent me music. Somebody sent me music, and um, and it was like I started playing it, and everybody's like, Who are these people? And I'm like, I don't know, I just got their music, and so now I'm figuring it out. Um, needless to say, and so um, we are, uh, and then people just started falling in love with your music because your harmonies are so tight and Aww. so beautiful, and and you know it 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 it, it is what what it is. But um, uh, the question becomes now, like, where do people find your music? Where do people find you? You know, so tell tell us tell us where can we find you? All right, so probably the easiest. A couple of places to find us are www.theselkygirls.com. And if you're watching online, you'll see it right there at the bottom of your screen. Um, and at Facebook, we are The Selkie Girls. So Selkie is S-E-L-K-I-E. -E, and then girls, as you would normally spell that. So there's kind of an interesting. We're not cool enough to do the G U R L S. <laughs> oh no, we're definitely not cool enough for that. It, as much American spelling as possible. Uh, so um, in Ireland, uh, <clears throat> it would be the Silkies, S I L K I E. In Scotland, it'd be the Selkies, S E L K I E. Um, so it's the same legend in both places, but they spell it a little bit differently, which. Um, is is the case for many things in Ireland and Scotland. If you study Gaelic and Gaelic, uh, they sound similar, but they're spelled very differently. Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a lot of people very angry, but they're just kissing cousins. I'm I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> listen, I I will agree with you to a point. Um, so a, a good friend of ours, Patter Hickey, he's um, uh, he learned Gaelic in Ireland. And he said, there's a competition or there's like a, a language festival every year. And the, and the Scots come out and the Irish come out and all the kids can understand each other just fine. You know, even though they're mm -hmm. speaking Gaelic and Gaelic, um, it, you know, they do, the, the, the languages mingle. They're just similar like the songs, enough. They yeah. do. And the, and the songs mingle too. So like a, a song, like the parting glass, if you ask oh, a yeah. Scot, 
That's a Scottish song. If that, you oh, ask. oh, an Irish oh, yes. That's an Irish song. Well, really, oh, if oh, you yes. look at the channel between the two <laughs> islands, obviously they were sharing a lot of those songs together. So oh, who knows? It's yeah, it, it cracks me up because um, my husband is Scottish, you know, and, yeah. and I'm very Irish and, you know, and um, and, and, and English. I mean, I'm Irish and English and he's very Scottish and and we play Scottish festivals, of course. But we are yeah. a Celtic band because I'm like, sure. dude, I'm like Welsh and Irish. You know, there's you know, you got to got to have it all. They're here. all and, welcome uh, here. Like there's oh the my seven gosh. nations. And the Welsh, just, just don't forget. I, forget it. Anyone that can them. sing in welsh or speak it has my undying admiration i mean that language so, just takes things to a whole new level oh my gosh yes yeah. so i tried i tried and it was not pretty so i always okay. apologize before i before i sing um any kind of gaelic or or welsh or anything i'm always like if you speak this i am so sorry <laughs> <laughs> Because I realize I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> but I am so sorry. And they're always like, it's okay. You know, and you're like, okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, what you what so. you learn is that the people that actually speak it, they're incredibly flattered that you would take the time yeah. to try. So exactly. they're they are very encouraging of people learning the language, singing the music, because the way that these things stay alive is that people share them. And, exactly. uh, you know, so, so hopefully you never encounter anyone that's discouraging to you about that. I've never actually, yeah, it's good, been amazing. Good. Yeah, no, yeah. usually it's, uh, because you know, we're here in Indiana and, um, me and my husband are part of the Scottish society of Indianapolis. Yeah. And so they're all like, let's learn all the Gaelic, you know, and he, we know there's a difference between MC and MAC, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, and all of those beautiful, hilarious things are, you know, I have the father-in-law that's like speaking Gaelic on his, on his, answering you know oh, nice. his message and yeah cool. and he's always like blah, 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 here i am you know uh <laughs> sure. leave a message after the tone and it's it's just hilarious oh because, i love you it. know everybody's like let's go back to our roots <laughs> and uh so it, it is a beautiful beautiful thing yeah. um but it is really funny because the scottish society will be like in the in the parade for for saint patrick's day and we're all like they're all like why are you here and i'm like St. Patrick was from Scotland. <laughs> like we have to like, like, we are your education of the day. And they're like, okay, let's get drunk. You know? And so yes. they don't really care, yeah. but still it's, uh, it is really funny though, because you know, everybody's like, they're like, no, we are different. And I'm like, you really aren't <laughs> really not that different. And so no. I just, I'm always like, just take a breath. I promise it will be okay. <laughs> cracks me up <laughs> always makes me laugh a little and they know it too they're just joking with themselves if they think <laughs> I'm the same. but it always makes me laugh a little but you guys uh just to repeat this for everyone they you you can find them at facebook.com forward slash the selkie girls that's the s-e-l-k-i-e girls or you can find them at theselkiegirls.com, the s e l k i e girls.com. You can find their stuff there. Um, where I, you guys said a few performances you're going to be doing. Go ahead and say those again. Tell us more, please. Yes. So we will be at uh, Scott Fest in Tulsa. Sorry, if you see a nose or a wagging tail or hear click clicks, that's Jack, my lab healer. He's just down you here. Everybody he, loves animals. On he's my bestie. Yeah. And, you know, Jack, oh, now he leaves. Um, but so, <laughs> of course. He's, yeah, he's, he's camera shy. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't want to be a part of the show. Um, so <laughs> we will be in Tulsa um, in a couple of weeks. So I think it's the nice. 16th through the 19th. The, 16th through yep. the 18th? 16th through 18th. Great. Um, so, and that's in Tulsa. That is a huge uh, festival for all things Scottish. Graham McTavish from Outlander will be there. He wow. was, Mac yeah, he was Dougal um, uh, Mackenzie oh, yeah. in that. So we're all sort of excited about that. And then uh, fantastic bands, Celtic rock stages. We'll be on the folk stage. I think uh, our friends Tullamore will be there and lots of other great acts as well. Nice. Um, and then we will be um, in October. We're 
we have maybe a couple of dates. We're still confirming for that. And then we're still working on our spring uh, season. So we'll keep you all nice. posted on that too. But just awesome. check our website, sign up for our mailing list. We really don't email much except to say, hey, we're playing here or there. And uh, we never spam. So if you want to nice. keep in touch with us. And you can get our music on our website. You can also order it on Amazon, iTunes, uh, wherever digital music is sold these days. We nice. probably have a presence there. So Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we actually already talked about with or without you. <laughs> we did. Okay. But <laughs> um, knowing that this is one of your favorite bands, which is hilarious and sure. beautiful, um, uh, then we're going to get to hear you actually play this song, too. So that's going to be a, a really awesome thing. Um, I, I do want to say thank you. It has been a blast having you guys on. Just a Oh, blast. thanks for having yeah. us. This is so it's much fun. fun. I know. Yeah. We have four more songs, so we still get to dance. Great. <laughs> I still get More to push you outside in here. <laughs> Yay. Now you know. Now you know how to chair dance forever. You'd be like, Rebecca taught me how to chair dance. I'm just saying. <laughs> it was on the Celtic. It's the only day. dancing I'll probably ever be allowed to do. So thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Now you have your 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 venue to do do it in. <laughs> Needless to say. All right. So we'll we'll see you in just a minute. Great. All right, guys. So, yes, we're going to have With or Without You by the Selkie Girls. Um, and then we're going to listen to Side by Side by Adam Crabtree. Then we're going to listen to Raise a Glass for the Kid by Brian Henke. Awesome, awesome. And then we will end the show with Grandma's Cooking by the Lonesome Troubadour. I don't care what you say. That's the best name ever. <laughs> I one day I want to like name I don't know I got an there's gonna be an animal named after the lonesome troubadour I, it needs to be like a horse or like no it needs to be like a mule <laughs> like the lonesome troubadour goes off on, I'm I'm sorry I'm having a moment in my head and you guys aren't here with me but this is happening right here in my head needless to say yes I'm having a moment so you guys ready for some amazing music and me to stop literally having a moment in my head I know it is what it is, but here we go. See the stone set in your eyes See the thorn twist in your side I wait for you Slide of hand and twist of fate On a bed of nails you make me and I'm waiting for you With or without you With or without you Through the storm we reach the shore You give it all but I want more And I'm waiting for you With or without you With or without you I can't live And you 
you've got me with nothing to win
was a hero in the Second World War. He kept his medals locked behind a door. He married his true love when he made it home. The ghost he brought back with them alone Now all his friends are gathered around To raise a glass for the kid A span of Walked upon the earth He knew the cost of life Was not sure of its worth Now all his friends are gathered around To raise a glass for the key His father said to him when he was just a kid Don't matter who you are, it matters what you did Now all his friends are gathered around to lower Raise a glass for the kid Raise a glass for the kid I was born on the river bank 30 long years ago Dreaming of being a guitar player since I was four years old Listen to my uncles play the same old songs over and over in vain Well they were too damn drunk to remember the words so we'd sing it again and again Singing about God and guns and grandma's cooking It's what keeps us country boys so good looking God and guns and grandma's cooking It doesn't really matter which strings it's from Just pick a guitar and play along Singing God and guns and grandma's cooking Well, the beer's always cold when we gather around or Usually over somebody's grave It must sound sad when you hear it like that But it's just my family's way We raise up our glasses and get drunk off our asses To celebrate the life that they had And now that they're gone, we know they're finally at peace And for that, we're... So, I give you two chances, <laughs> one chance I love you, uh, Lonesome Troubadour, but uh, yeah. And so let's just give a good reminder to everyone. Here's a great reminder. You guys ready? 
no cursing. <laughs> We're going to put that one out there. Lonesome Troubadour, we love you, but uh, needless to say, um, plus... You know, there's just something about there. But we want to say, <laughs> I'm going to end just a little bit early because uh, Grandma's cooking was just a little too uh, too vulgar for our taste. So uh -oh. Grandma's cooking got a little too spicy, I think. A little too, a little too spicy. <laughs> a little spicy in that sucker. So, uh, so Lonesome Troubadour, we love you to death, but um, please send me a radio ready version and then we will definitely play that song. Um, needless to say. That's what we do. Yeah. Um, but we, uh, I'm so, I'm, I, I've had the best time with you, with you ladies tonight. Thank you so much for coming on. Likewise. Well, Rebecca, thanks so much for having us on. It's a lovely show. A really interesting, eclectic mix of songs. It was really fun to listen along tonight. And what I would say for those of you that are picking swear words, you know, take a, take a, page from an Irish or a Scottish book, they will tell you the absolute worst stories, murder, mayhem, chaos, violence, in the most beautiful way, never having to swear, right? So be a little more creative <laughs> with that. Right? You can find some, I used to let to, to, to my son all the time, like, dude, you don't have to curse because you can actually totally do this in a way that they won't even know what you're talking about. And you're just totally That's telling true. them off. I'm just saying <laughs> it just requires a Be little inventful. creativity. Yes. <laughs> Be <inventful>. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> needless to say yes um it, it has been a blast and to be completely honest i i'm kind of excited about what might happen later in the future between celtic grain and sulky girls that Wouldn't might be that a be thing fun. i'm just saying that would be a brilliant brilliant matchup but i do want to say thank you everybody everybody for coming make sure to check out their uh make sure to check out their stuff you can obviously find them at facebook.com forward slash the selkie girls s-e-l-k-i-e -E girls and you can find them at the selkie girls.com s-e-l-k-i-e -E girls.com the the selfie girls make sure you have the the in there um needless to say find their music make sure that you have a great time and and we uh, and we will definitely be following your beautiful beautiful music um again if you have music to send me it has to be family friendly meaning no cursing please be nice to people and it has to be from a small label or independent artist or group I'm just putting that out there. <clears throat> Send it to Celtic Rain 777 at gmail.com. That's like rain out of the sky. If you are not watching from YouTube, you can go to youtube.com forward slash C for channel forward slash Celtic Rain, like rain out of the sky, and you can like and subscribe. Then you know exactly when we're going to be on. It's amazing. We have beautiful, beautiful artists on here, and I am blown away by how amazing. Their music is this is a place why i started the show is so that people could find music from musicians that don't get played on regular radio because that needs to happen more often this is how you find out about people like the silky girls i'm just saying this is the celtic rain radio show we thank you so much for being a part of our show Thank you guys so much for coming and asking questions and doing all the things that you did to make us who we are. We could not be who we are without you. We thank you and we say bye.